Time for outrageous predictions on Buckeye Talk. Douglas Murray's Nathan Baird and Stephen Means. What's going to happen that's going to be oh, a little bit wild in East Lansing on Saturday afternoon? I'm going to go first because I think we're all going in the same direction given the matchup between the Buckeyes and the Spartans. So I want to uh, get mine out of the way and then make you guys change in case you have the same thing. I am going to pick Emeka Egbuka to have a 200-yard receiving game, which would be the – seventh 200 yard receiving game in Ohio State history uh as we have talked many times we have seen how this offense can be geared to the slot receiver Jackson Smith and Jigba had two games last year he has he has the first the number one receiving game against Utah in the Rose Bowl and the number three against Nebraska in Ohio State history for most single game yards uh I'm gonna pick a Mecca Buka who is their leading receiver right now I'm banking this on not quite yet for Jackson Smith and Jigba in his return. Feels like that's up in the air. So if we're all going big on the passing game, I'm going to lean it on Egbuka with the 200-yard receiving game. Steven, did I, did I steal something from you? Or no, you're going to go Marvin Harrison Jr. nine touchdowns in the game or something, right? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not going to do that. You actually stole what would have been my second one because I didn't realize this until I was looking at the numbers. Until last week, Emeka Egbuka had at least 90 yards in every game. Like he's mm. quietly just been. Hey, is Emeka Buka the best wide receiver on this team? Like very quietly, as we've talked yeah. about all this other stuff. So I think that's a really good one. Yeah, mine's is pretty simple. Uh, Ohio State's had one 500 yard passing day, and it came nine months ago. TJ Stroud mm. had four four forty nine against Michigan State last year. Well, no, the team had four forty nine. Excuse me, Kyle McCord uh, threw in for some of those this year. I think CJ gets his second 500 yard passing game, and it's just basically. Simple logic here. Washington had 397, and I added 100, and then rounded up. Because it's yeah, C.J. Michael Stroud. Yeah, can do it. C.J. Stroud could do it. <laughs> so. <laughs> not, I'm not sure that qualifies as logic, but it's simple. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I don't think it's an unfair way to look at it. That Again, we've seen Michael Penix. We know Michael Penix is good, but he's not C.J. Stroud. No. Uh, Nathan Baird, what you got? Well, listen, it's called outrageous predictions, and mm. we're about to tumble down – hyperbole mountain here, but I'm almost thinking that nothing you can predict about a Ohio State's passing offense in this game would be all that outrageous. So I went on defense. Uh, uh, I wrote earlier this week that, you know, Ohio State, they only have 10 sacks this year. That's on pace to be the fewest sacks they've had per game in a season since whatever it was, I said 2011, I think. Um, but when you look inside the numbers, the sack rate is better than that. And then Jack Sawyer, we were talking to him Wednesday night at the Woody after practice, said he thinks Ohio State should have had eight or ten more sacks than it does right now. He thinks the defensive yeah. line specifically has left a bunch of sacks on the field this year because it, part of it was, you know, they're playing Daquan Fenn from Toledo, who is slippery, and just some things had gotten away from But We've been talking about that for a while, that it seems like they're close. It seems like they're right there. And one of the problems is opponents haven't been throwing the ball that much. I think Michigan State is going to have to try. I feel like we've said this every week and opponents either don't or can't follow through. But Michigan State's got a quarterback in Peyton Thorne who had a good year last year, seems to have regressed, but he's got something there. He's got Jaden Reed, who is a good receiver. He's got some other guys who have some talent. I think Ohio Michigan State's got to come out. Somebody's got to come out and challenge these Ohio State cornerbacks and make them prove that they're going to make plays on the ball. So if you take away the 42 attempts Arkansas State had, the other four Ohio State's played have only had slightly more than 20 per game. I think that's going to be... Other than the Arkansas State game, this will be the most anybody's throwing the ball against Ohio State. So I'm going to take Ohio State to get – to make it outrageous, I'll say six sacks in this game, Ooh. at least five from the defensive line. Okay. Ohio State throwing it, Michigan State having to try to throw it. Make sure you're listening to our Buckeye Talk podcast. Try the text at 614-350-3315. And if you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel, go to YouTube, search Cleveland.com and Ohio State, and you get signed up so you don't miss any of these videos. For Nathan and Steven, I'm Doug. Thanks for watching a Buckeye Talk video.